You may have heard of his song, Rich Men North of Richmond. Rich Men North of Richmond. This is not my <laughs> As you can tell, this is not my local news. Social media sensation Oliver Anthony was scheduled to perform at a West Knox County nightclub, but that show has now been canceled. Why? Well, it depends on who you ask. The venue and the artist have conflicting viewpoints. WHE 6 On Your Side's Kristen Gallant explains the role of ticket prices in this clash that's getting attention beyond. I love how their background is literally just a parking garage. <laughs> yeah, this is a great skyline in Tennessee. It's like you couldn't just put it over like, you know, the nice like street in nashville was like broadway street's like the main street there i don't know but it's somewhere else yeah they want that live feed as it's going Fuck, right just now. put like a live feed right in front of like jeff jarrett's house that's real nashville to me <laughs> nashville country doesn't... music legend jeff jarrett come on spend my days working hard on you the gave taylor swift a career <laughs> that's right yeah i wish you'd cover uh with my baby tonight oh that'd be amazing that would instantly sell out at least like 20 more dates on that heiress tour <laughs> let's see Lori Bo, the owner of the Cotton Eye Joe, told me. Whoa, dear in headlights. <laughs> the place is called the Cotton Eye Joe. Wow. White people and stereotypes, you win again. <laughs> oh, man, she can't open them eyes anymore. Yeah, but look. <laughs> She's like an alien. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. The owner of Cotton Eye Joe was like, ah! There's no coffee. Look it's into so my eyes. What do you see? She's hypnotizing me right now. Don't go to the stone or something. <laughs> when the artist manager signed a contract, ticket prices were never discussed. He says he was offended by Oliver Anthony's post, especially because no one came to him directly to express any concerns. What would have happened? You'd have been like, buddy, we got a contract. Fuck you. And that'd have been the end of it. Yeah. Don't buy Cotton Eye Joe tickets for $99 a piece. Oliver Anthony has blown. Yeah, I, I paused. On it. social media in just a matter of weeks. I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. See what I mean? It's just not, not my music. No, it's not even that great of a song. I mean, there's way better country music than this, honestly. I wrote a song too. It goes like this. Let me uh, let me just sing it to you. It's called uh, "Well, I went down to Canada to make a food. It was mom, and we crawled in the bed. She did something with her thumb. She stuck it up my ass. <laughs> in your dream, bitch. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. <laughs> yeah. Again. No. Play it again. Uh, he was down slated to, to perform at the Cotton Eye Joe later this month. We negotiated a price, and nothing was ever said about how much to set the tickets for. Nothing was ever said about charging for meet and greets. We talked about the price. I sent him a contract. Everything was cut in stone, black and white. And then when we put the tickets on sale, we were at 500 tickets that we had sold in about four hours. Owner of the Jesus Christ. There is no really? reason this guy needs to sell that many tickets. Yeah, well, he do it, do it now while your 15 minutes of fame is going to be, you know, still in in sort of quote unquote vogue. Because then, yeah. buddy, in the next two months, some other idiot's going to come in there and take care write of that a, shit. Write another cowboy song. Yeah. Joe Chuck Ward says Oliver Anthony's manager negotiated the contract for a hundred and twenty thousand dollar payout to the artist, which included the Joe Shit. paying for production, security, oh, overstaffing, hotel rooms for the band, catering, among other things. We did the math. We set our ticket prices to where that we can break even on about a hundred and twenty-five to play this little bar. Yeah, jeez. Well, you can pull that shit because he's, you know, you have a fucking number one, some of a surprise number one hit. You yeah, can but pull that, those fit, kind of numbers. They can't fit that many people in this little bar. It's a well, bar. We don't know, I don't know what the capacity is of the venue, so who knows? You can get a thousand people in there. I mean, look around. I mean, I mean, it'd be like a fucking can of sardines in there, but hey, it's what it is. Man, I hate shows like that over 1300 tickets not make any money take all the risk of having 1500 people in here you know god forbid if something happens we're liable 
Ward says they rely on bar sales to make extra money. However, once Oliver Anthony saw that Joe was selling tickets for $99 and meet and greet tickets for $199, he posted this video. Uh, if we've got to cancel the venue and play somewhere else, we will. Uh, I didn't agree to it, and I don't want you to pay it, so please don't. According to Anthony, his manager made the deal without his knowledge of any type of ticket pricing agreement. Sounds like a dumbass idea, buddy. Like, you need to let yeah. your manager handle your fucking business and stay the yeah. fuck out of it. Yeah, and also just, just get off of social media because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I didn't mean for my song to be adapted by the right wing, but, they, you know, these guys just take everything. I mean, exactly. bro, it's $125,000. What the fuck are you thinking, dude? Yeah, listen. This is... What a stupid fucking decision. Go go back to trying to be a YouTube sensation. Much easier doing that. Ward said I mean, I agree with him. His tickets ain't worth $99. But... Yeah, no <laughs> I mean... fucking chance in hell. Or, like, book a better venue than this. Yeah, and this little fucking bar. So you couldn't find, like, a theater, like, even, like, a theater that could hold, you know, at least two to 3,000 people, maybe. Some, oh, yeah. Something that looks, you know, that's actually made for shit like this, not, like, a community this, like, center. mediocre fucking, yeah, <laughs> exactly, a rec center, a fucking Salvation Veterans Army. Legion Hall or something, Yeah, you know, exactly. local post number 192 or whatever. Canceled Anthony's show on his own merit. He should have picked up the phone and said, hey. Somebody should have picked up the phone and said, hey, your prices are too expensive. Let's renegotiate the deal where you can lower your ticket price. I mean, I agree with that in a way, but I mean, I'm good for him for standing up for shitty ticket prices. But at the same time, you probably should have talked it over with the, uh, with yeah. the venue first. Or get a better fucking management. <laughs> yeah, Team Brazil's running this one. Man, girl with the Imagine. big eyes is back. <laughs> Jesus Christ, those eyes. <laughs> She's going to hypnotize us. Now, Oliver Anthony just announced a little over an hour ago on Instagram that he will be playing at the Knoxville Convention Center September 29th. He also has said on social media that besides the two shows he already has booked recently, his ticket prices on all upcoming shows will be $25 each. Lori? I feel like she can right, see Kristen, me doing this. You. Probably. All right, Chris Caputo. So, uh, <laughs> turns out the ticket prices were just like way too fucking much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, I don't know if that was a, like Ticketmaster or the venue themselves selling it. I assume it's the venue themselves. They probably run their own thing. Oh, yeah. Especially if it's a small time venue like that. Like, I know Ticketmaster and Live Nation and those, those fuckwads have, you know, enough of the, uh, the pull for like most, most venues. They're you selling know. tickets in a bar. Yeah, like, what, the, what the fuck? How much fucking... Uh, oh, Frost is here. He says, I actually agree with his point. I wish more artists uh, cared enough about making their tickets affordable. <laughs> Guns and Roses. Aerosmith, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll get to Aerosmith in a sec. They got some news about that. The only reason oh, yeah. why Aerosmith tickets are so crazy because they're billing it as a farewell tour, and, you know, demand is going to be like this. Yeah. And fucking dynamic pricing, which is the biggest con scheme in all of fucking mobile ticketing history. I agree. Yeah, that's some bullshit is what it is. Great bullshit. 